phone started blowing up with text messages. I called one of the persons who had left a message. They said, sit down, first church is burned to the ground. And of course, my first question was, was anyone injured? No. Was anyone killed? No. Very thankful for that. I made it back and uh, discovered that we had lost the entire facility. But the church was still here because the people were still intact and just you know, wanting to get home to hug people and uh, you know offer my condolences and care and support that we're going to make it through this. It's still emotional, yeah. you know. <laughs> yeah. We were down there um, the next day right after the fire, so uh, we were on scene. Um, in fact, it was still hot. It was still smoking, you know, at the time, so. I, the insurance folks were in that crowd that night among 500 other people that had just on the spur of the moment through social media learned that we were having that candlelight vigil. Braille's always been a good support uh, with claims and they were right there. I mean, and they, they, they knew it was a house of worship program and it was a church program and everything just went like clockwork. I mean, there was a lot of people, they cared. You know, they wanted to see everything well taken care of and, and the process be easy on us, and that's what they did. This is their church. This is where they worship. This building had been in downtown and a ministry in that community uh, since the late 1800s. And there was that look towards us of, is this going to all work out? And it was really reassuring to say, guys, it's going to be okay. I know it's going to be tough. I know there's going to be some ups and downs. We're going to have to figure some things out. It's going to take a little while. But go take care of your community. Go take care of your people. We've got this on the insurance side. Um, and it worked out you know, really well for everybody. So it was just a very good support system, which is so important when the community is looking at you as the agent, as a community member, as a, you know, a church member. I'm very impressed with what Grinnell does with his House of Worship program. It's very comprehensive and I really can't think of too many things that they would add to it. <laughs> it's, uh, it's a great program. What I can say, having now gone through a number of significant, large, multi-million dollar type losses, is that Grinnell handles them really well. These kind of claims in particular, you know, Grinnell Mutual really stepped up to the plate.